Hey, be a squid and subscribe to my mediocrity. Alright, what's going on everybody? Today we're going to be talking about a little bit of Aukman grinding. This has been my first actual time coming to Aukman for a full two hours, uh, fully buffed up and everything. Villa, I got a camera buff, I think I had an item drop scroll, just only one. And uh, I had a, like a full food buff rotation, the whole nine yards basically. I wanted to make sure that I could clear this place as effectively as possible with probably the lowest AP you could come here, which is 535. I am, I think, 536. So I, I've done a little bit of the Bartali's log. So I got that one extra AP from Quint, but that's irrelevant. It's one AP. If you're 535, you can come here and be completely fine. Now, granted, I am playing Musa, so Musa does hit pretty damn hard, especially with full food buff rotation, the whole nine yards. So keep that in mind. And if you're playing a different class, your results may vary. But for me, I managed to walk away with a good bit of uh, trash loot. We'll talk about that at the end here, but I just kind of wanted to let you guys know what the video is. I'm going to let this play out so you can see how well I cleared and what you should be kind of, I guess, aiming for. Uh, for the most part, walking away with 5k trash loot is probably the lowest you want to walk away with. I know a couple people that are above in the 240s to 260 brackets that walk away with 5k trash loot in one hour. So for me, 5k trash loot for two hours with an item drop scroll, probably not the most optimal. So if we take away the item drop scroll, we're most likely going to walk away with three point something and maybe closer to four if you're really good at clearing and you're fully buffed up and whatnot. So depending on your speed will determine how much you uh, get in terms of loot. But anyway, I'll let this go ahead and play out and you guys can uh, watch this for a few minutes and then we'll talk about the loot afterwards. All right, boys. Now we're done with the Aukman grind. It's been it's been about two hours. Actually, it's been longer than that, but I've been kind of messing around, goofing, and looking through chat and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, we we grinded for about two hours. It was a pretty a pretty rough and interesting grind. It wasn't exactly smooth sailing for sure. Uh, towards the end there, I started running out of buffs, and I wanted at least five k trash loot. So I kind of went about five ten more minutes over the two hour. Uh, time frame so i managed to pull 5k trash loot which we'll go ahead and take a look here at our inventory so this is what we managed to pull 5.1 over uh two hours which is i would say pretty good uh that's 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 a, that's a decent chunk of change right there yeah just from grinding for two hours i mean we're looking at 38 mil just purely from trash loot then we've got these scrolls which we've got six of these so this is like an extra six millish from these scrolls so these are nice uh, just as a bonus thing you can run these for a little bit more extra money it's all kind of rng realistically but typically i run them just in case i end up getting more no matter what you're still gonna at least make like five to six mil so it's money you didn't have so you don't really lose much then at the moment there's an event going on where you have the sparkling crystal fragments which i'm pretty sure uh, you, you can collect uh, a few of these and then turn them into the Marcella Lady in Velia, as it says here. 
and you can get uh, a gold box of sorts or something. I'm not really entirely sure what it is because this is the first time I've picked these up since this is day one of the event for the Hashishin, whatever the hell. So overall, I'd say that this is a pretty good haul. Even if I were to sell these, I mean, we've got six. So, you know, five, ten, yeah, yeah, you get the point. Fucking math. And we also managed to pick up an Ancient Power Red Shard, which if we decide to sell these, this is 4.9. Which I would say, uh, not bad. If we could pull a tongue grad or could have gotten a black shard, that would have been really, really huge and upped our money percentage there. We would have made roughly close to uh, 100 mil, I think, if we had got the tongue grad. So that's a little disappointing. But nonetheless, if we sell this along with the trash loot and everything, we we, we made we made good. We made about 40, 45 mil. Now to go over what I was using while I was grinding, because I know this question comes up quite often, like what type of pets am I using? What buffs was I using? Or the whole nine yards. So uh, I was running full food buff rotation. I was running Knight's Ration, uh, Serendia Meal, and King of the Jungle Hamburg. That's what I was running in terms of a food buff rotation. Cron meals are out right now, but I did not uh, I've got a pre-order in, but, you know, there's like fucking 40,000 pre-orders, so unfortunately, I'm gonna have to sit and wait until that comes out. If I had Cron Mills, there's a good chance I would have pulled a lot more trash loot, maybe another thousand or so, because I would have cleared a lot faster, but we'll see, and we'll redo that with Cron Mills whenever it decides to, uh, you know, whenever I can get some. Anyway, so we had those three food buffs uh, running at the same time, then we had Fury Elixirs, which were a huge help just... The extra AP is really, really nice. Typically, I use these at trees, but I figure for Achman, it was probably worth the use. Then we were also using Elixir of Draining. This is just to help with keeping my HP up just because they hit really, really hard. And if they CC you, it is really, really ass. So I had to pot a lot and then I would use just all my heavy AoE moves in order to actually heal up all the damage. So Elixir of Draining was a huge help and I ran through about 15 of these because I think I had 20, 21-ish, something like that. So I ran through a good bit of these drainings and I definitely ran through about 20 of these Furies. And some of these were by accident because I meant to pop a Draining and I accidentally popped a Fury instead. So I ran through definitely more Furies than I did Draining. And then for the first half of that, I was running a lot of WP pots as well as HP, but the weight kind of got in the way. So I dropped the WP pots and just started stacking HP potions. So that was the main uh, the main thing there towards the end. Uh, I was also doing a Traces of Festival, which to this just, you know, plus two luck, uh, HP, plus 200. So that's what I was running uh, towards the, you know, just the start of it and whatnot. Then I was also running one item collection scroll. That's pretty much, um, that, was, that was basically it. I was just running this. And just in terms of anything else, I have a camo buff running just because, you know, I had, I bought one off the marketplace and I, I, I was like 50 mil or something, 55 mil, something like that. So I managed to pick that up. Uh, and then we've also got a secret book of the old moon. Once again, picked this up from the marketplace. Uh, I thought it was was gonna help because I was doing a lot of trees, so I wanted the extra XP. And that's uh, that's pretty much the buffs that I was running uh, in terms of pets. I have tier one pets and one T three pet. That is pretty much it. I managed to pull fifty one hundred uh, trash loot with just T one pets. Nothing fancy or special or anything like that. Nothing just out of the ordinary i guess so yeah overall i'd say that if i was a bit more geared like probably 240 ish to 245 i'd clear more effectively probably walk away with more like 55 to 6k trash loot that would be especially for a loot scroll i feel like this is what a geared person would walk away with without a loot scroll and then a person with a loot scroll that is geared they would probably walk away with closer to 6k to 6500 so that's give or take again me assuming that but for 236 AP, 305 DP, and, you know, subpar Musa skills, I'd say I, I did okay. I, I, I could grind there every single day and make about 50 mil, so I'm not going to complain too much about that. Definitely an, a step up from, you know, Manchums or anything like that. It's a lot more um, condensed. There's more mob uh, density in there, not to mention just... Uh, way more intense realistically oh another buff that i was running that i forgot to mention uh villa buff from the tent that that was um i was running that because i just like i just recently picked up a tent so i started using that so villa buff is huge plus 10 ap and i think another percentage dp or something like that i can't remember but yeah, villa buff is really huge do you need it i don't think so because i grinded without it for a hot second because it ran out towards the middle you don't necessarily need a villa buff to grind Aquaman, but if you do have it it is a huge help. I think the most important thing that you need to go into Aquaman with is the church buffs as well as the food buff rotation. 
and some elixirs to help you get by if you're struggling with keeping yourself alive 1000 percent definitely bring furies and if you have any life stealing elixirs or anything like that bring those as well because if you're a squishy class like a dk or something or even a musa you can definitely get knocked down and you'll lose a lot of hell so you're gonna have to get used uh, used to the movement and the mobs and whatnot this is only my second time grinding Achman, and this is the first time actually technically it's my first time because the um, when i went there uh my very first time just going there i had a buddy show me the rotations and what to do and what the mobs do and stuff like that and he was kind of like you know hand holding me through the through the Achman. so this was my technically first time going to Achman, grinding by myself and for a full two hours so yeah i mean it was it's good it's good money i definitely think if you're around 235 236 whatever and you got a tet kudum definitely go to Achman, and you guys should be able to make about 45 to 50 mil per two hours and run that daily that's a lot of money that's pretty good money but that's gonna be it for today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed it i will talk to you guys tomorrow Bye bye